Can you use a benzoyl peroxide and a topical retinoid together? It can be so confusing. And as a board certified dermatologist, these are two of the most commonly prescribed ingredients I give to my patients. So when it comes to topical ingredients and treating mild to moderate acne, benzoyl peroxide and a topical retinoid, mainly prescription retinoids like tretinoin or nowadays adapalene that's over the counter, these two are really considered by most dermatologists the dynamic dual. We know from large scale studies that these two ingredients are very effective. And in fact, they are even better when combined together than used alone individually. They're really good at fighting inflammatory acne, cutting down on the bacteria on the skin that causes acne, as well as working to unclog pores and really helps to treat and prevent acne. However, there are a couple of things to think about when you're using these two together. And what I mean together is using them in the same routine. Number one is irritation. Topical retinoids and benzoyl peroxide can be extremely irritating and drying on the skin. That irritation is further compounded when you have them together and used together in the same routine. And then secondarily, which often is really a lot of the confusion that I see on social media is we know that topical retinoids, mainly prescription tretinoin, as well as many of the over-the-counter topical retinols are very, very sensitive. They get easily degraded in the presence of heat, light, as well as benzoyl peroxide. Hence, I get so many questions about, can I use benzoyl peroxide and topical retinoid in the same routine? And the answer is yes but it really depends. What it does depend on? Well, number one is really the type of retinoid and the formulation of that retinoid. We know that tretinoin is very, very sensitive and can break down easily in the presence of benzoyl peroxide and mainly tretinoin creams. However, certain brand name tretinoins like Retin-A Micro and a gel vehicle has been shown that it is stable and will not degrade in the presence of benzoyl peroxide. Now, adapalene is another topical retinoid that is very effective against fighting acne and now is over the counter. Adapalene, unlike tretinoin, is very, very stable and does not get degraded in the presence of light, heat, or benzoyl peroxide. In fact, there's actually even a brand name called Epidual, which is the combination of benzoyl peroxide and adapalene that's formulated into a cream that you can use on your skin. So one way to go about and making sure that your retinoid does not get degraded in the presence of a leave-on benzoyl peroxide is to pick adapalene over tretinoin. Now, keep in mind that if you are going to be using a leave-on benzoyl peroxide and a topical retinoin together, that can be very irritating. So especially if you're using tretinoin, you have to worry about potentially being degraded. So one way to avoid that is to number one, split them up. So use your topical retinoid at night and then use your benzoyl peroxide leave-on treatment in the morning. If you want to use the two together because you're simple, you'd like to keep your routine simple, then pick adapalene over prescription tretinoin. However, actually my personal favorite way of using benzoyl peroxide and your topical retinoids together, that's going to number one, decrease irritation and two, ensure that you're not going to be deactivating your tretinoin is to actually pick your benzoyl peroxide and use it as a cleanser formulation instead of leave-on treatment. Studies have shown that benzoyl peroxide, when used as a cleanser in short contact time, meaning couple minutes, can be just as effective as leave-on benzoyl peroxide treatment but far less irritating. And the other benefit is it won't bleach your towels, your pillowcases, and t-shirts. So benzoyl peroxide, whether it's over the counter or cleanser, is found in various concentrations from 2.5% all the way to 10. We know that the concentration of benzoyl peroxide does not affect efficacy, meaning it's all gonna work against acne, but irritation increases with a higher concentration. So my recommendation is just to pick kind of middle of the road between 2.5 to 5% in treating acne. If you want something a little bit stronger, like 10%, I find that to be fairly effective for treating acne on the body because the skin on our body is hardier than on our face. Some of my favorite acne cleansers includes CeraVe Acne Foaming Cleanser, which is a 4% benzoyl peroxide super, super gentle. I use that every night. You can use it on your face, body, and leave it on for a few minutes and then rinse off. Another option for more combination oily skin is the Neutrogena Clear Pore Cleanser that contains 2.5% benzoyl peroxide. The cleansers, you're gonna be washing that off. You can use that whenever you like. You can use it in the morning and separate that out from your acne treatment or use it at night like I do. I use it to cleanse my face and then I use my topical retinoid. You really don't have to worry about 
about efficacy and interfering with your topical retinoid. So hopefully that clarifies some of the confusion and you guys found these tips to be helpful. You can find me more on Instagram as well as TikTok. And I would love it if you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you guys next time.